two hours later. I'm trying to sit on the porch very peaceful, y'all. Very peaceful. Somebody just dropped by and asked me a couple questions pertaining my daughter. Shot me a couple lies I didn't even ask. But why is it that when people tell y'all something, they know in their heart and in their mind, they're not going to do it. They're not going to go forward with it. They're not going to. They just ain't going to do it, right? But they'll sit up here and tell you what they're going to do and knowing damn well, right here, your heart. They're not going to do it. I didn't ask for no lies. I didn't ask for a handout. None of that. But he came and gave it to me. Pulling up in a Mercedes. Just say so you want me to see the Mercedes that ain't yours. That you just leasing it out right now until your car get fixed. Told the truth about that. But just in there just to be lying that I didn't ask for. I, 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 I'm sitting on the porch sucking in some cool air. Y'all see how peace and quiet it is. Peace and quiet. Y'all see it. You got the lunch truck down now for the cheering. The van right there. Y'all got the van right there. But y'all see how, how, how peace and quiet it is right here. Don't mind this him. This my tripod. Y'all see it. You see it for yourself. You got a few cars pass by here and there. You call it here now. I had me a nice warm shower. Cause my legs was, you know, muscle. My trying to relax my muscles and stuff from walking so much yesterday. I haven't had no breakfast, no coffee, no nothing. I don't start eating breakfast late cause I be eating late at night. But anyway, so he decided to come and tell me a lie. I sat here and kicky you with it. Cause I know it was a lie. He did some he did some fake stuff about a week or two ago. And I already know how he is. He already owed me seventy five dollars. I didn't even say nothing about that. That's why I know he lying. He owed me seventy five dollars, y'all. Have not even paid me my seventy five dollars. I ain't worried about them seventy five dollars. That been over two or three months. But I ain't gonna hold him for it. You get what I'm saying? Because this, hold on, y'all. Nah, they wanna drive so fast in the damn hood. They look. Well, he going slow. He going a little bit slow. <laughs> but he owed me. He said. You know, my daughter called me and asked me to do something for her. I said, well, you know what? I said, I can't do it right now. I said, because uh, uh, I don't have the money. So he was here the time she was asking me. And he was like, you know what, Mom Duke? Because they would do generation call these mamas and things of that nature. Mom Duke, he said, I'll pay you back. Yeah, just just give it to him. So I said, okay, you sure you gonna pay me back? He said, yes, ma'am, I'm gonna pay you back. So, y'all, I gave him the $75 for whatever particular reason she needed it for, right? Um, he said, I'm gonna cash up you the $75. I ain't seen that $75 yet. So I'm not holding him to his word about giving me my money. Because it wasn't for her. I'm holding her full responsibility response for my $75. And I want it. And I want it. Not only my $75. 
she owe me rent at two thousand dollars and i want every drop every drop tax time i want a thousand dollars but i do want her to start making some kind of payments i sure do when she get a job and, and i'm gonna try and i want her to get a job pay every week because i because y'all can say what y'all want to say but I want a hundred dollar out of her every week until her bills are paid up with me. I bought her a living room suit, I bought her a kitchen table, I bought her a wash machine, then I'm paying about about a car, then I'm paying the car insurance as well. Every time she find income, I want a thousand dollars. That car itself cost shit. I don't remember how much that damn car was. I ain't gonna lie. But I do want her to start paying me back some of my money. I know that much. How you be? 30 some years old not just her it's a lot of these boys and girls out here well i call them boys and girls because i'm older than them but a lot of these young men and young women ain't got that shit together when when, when is they gonna get that shit together You fin you you thirty you thirty three thirty four thirty five finna almost be close to forty and you ain't got it together yet. I can't even get myself together because of her. And I don't told y'all so many times in my videos. I end up moving back to Georgia. I I had I had to live where well, I left Florida. Because of the cost of living. I would have been damn homeless. So I come here thinking, okay, I can get a job. Um I can I could live here for a little bit, save me some money. That ain't even happen. She got to move out this apartment. And when she moved out this apartment, she ain't got nowhere to go. So that lead me to I had to get a damn apartment. Just to be, just to spend more money. I'm cheering. No, they went and got their lunch. They should have gave them two bags. But I'm glad it's a program. You know, I don't know about where y'all from. It's a program here in Georgia that gives out free lunch five days. Uh, uh, I just said, I hope that ain't who I think it is. Because I'm about to get ready to go on in the house. Many men's in Georgia, in my hometown, they so fake and phony. They ain't got a pot to piss in in the winter to throw it out either. They want to have a relationship and they ain't got shit to offer. They ain't got nothing to bring to the table. But they want a relationship. That's another reason I didn't want to come back here. But it's okay. It's okay. I don't have one that talked to me. I blocked his phone number. No, I, I, no, and I deleted his phone. My, I, del I deleted and blocked it. Surely did. I ain't got time to be playing. Then, then y'all, he's 65, 66 years old. 67. Still to my, I got it. Yeah, if you take two or, two or three bag of pills, you surely do have it. You're going to have more than that. You're going to have your ass up in the hospital. Six, seven, 67 years old to my, I still got it. Got what? You got your truck. You got your apartment and the stuff in it. That's what you got. Ah, chilling, going on. I ain't trying to kick it with nobody in my hometown. I 
don't even want nobody to know I'm here. <sighs> I'll talk to y'all later. Thumb up this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Get it.